when you go to push this, see if I can do it without blocking. Man, there's never any freaking light when you need it. Okay. Okay, so these plugs right here that uh, clip onto the ignition coils, what happens is you go to push these down, and so you want to get it a out, and what happens is they break off just like this. I just touched this thing and it broke off. Now these plugs, we're lucky if they don't break off if they were new, but after 100,000 miles and say thousands of heat cycles, it's it's very rare not to break one. So when you've broke one, now you're faced with, well, what if the plug, you know, starts to back out on you? So as you can see here, I am in the middle of a, well, we'll call it minor surgery on this uh, 2007 Lexus RX 350. Um, basically, another coil went bad and it's number five way in the back here. And you cannot get to this. Uh, why the engineers designed this car this way, I have no idea. They ought to be taken out and flogged with a rubber hose uh, until they say they will never design anything in the automotive world again. Um, but be that as it may, you have to take everything off, including uh, the windshield wipers, the motors, the cowl, the arms, the trays, the intake manifold, all the hoses, the throttle body, everything just to get to the back here. And let me see if I can show you back there. To get back to these backmost plugs right, right here. And you know, they're still kind of difficult to get out even with all this work to get all this stuff out. Okay. So is there a way that we can, when we break one of these, uh, make this look factory, make it to where it's secure, and not look horrible. So what is the fix? The only thing I've seen on YouTube is really ugly fixes that include uh, you know, zip ties and, and, and silly things like that. I don't like that. I wanted, I wanted to come up with something that looked factory. Now you may say, well, the only correct way to fix it is to get a connector from the factory and push the pins out and uh, put it back. Now you can absolutely do that, and, and that's not even that hard. And honestly, these things are one-time use. So if you did it, the next time somebody had to open it up, they're just gonna break it again. So I thought, what could we come up with that works like this, that's easy to do, that anybody can do, uh, and would, would fix it like a factory fix without having to do a connector. And so what I've come up with is you're gonna need some red RTV gasket maker. The reason we want red is it's high temperature. So, uh, you know, it's not going to, we, we want something that will withstand the heat of an engine compartment. And you're going to need a little piece of plastic. Now, you absolutely probably could just cut this little piece out and use this. But what I'm going to use is I've got these little trailer clips, and I just cut a little black piece of plastic out of this, and I'll show you. It, it seems to work really good. And what we're trying to do here, and I'm going to use the factory clip to show you, is all we're trying to do is wedge a piece of plastic like this very top piece between this wedge and then the back of the connector that's gonna slip on. First thing I'm gonna do is just get a little bit of, get this, uh, it's got some 3M stuff on the back, so what I'm gonna do is just quickly take this off. What this also does is rough up the surface just a little bit. And it'll help the RTV stick to it. So that's basically what you need right there. And what that's gonna do is that is gonna sit right in here. Oh, these gloves are screwing me up. It's gonna sit right in here. 
between that wedge just like that. And what's going to happen is when you put this connector on, this connector is going to come up about like that behind it and it's going to hold like a wedge just like that. So let's go over to the car and I'll show you. Just going to grab a little dab of this RTV on the end of a toothpick or a pick or something like that. You don't need a lot. The um, Something about like that. The how aesthetically good this looks depends largely on how much RTV you use and how steady your hand and the access to the plug is. So this would be pretty difficult if the plug was really hard to get to, uh, but we're going to use the one up front and you can see that it'll look really, really nice when we're done. So let's go over to the plug and I'll show you what to do with this. Okay, so I'm going to have to just hold this by hand here because you can't so forgive the shaking, but so basically you can see our plugs broken here. So we go ahead and set the plug. The area that we want to go after is right, right. There's the wedge. So we want to go right in here and apply just a tiny bit of that RTV. You don't need much. That'll do it to show you. can't hardly do it with one hand. Okay, so normally I have two hands to do this. But if you'll notice, I'm just going to put that right down on that RTV seal. Notice the back of this plug here, and here's that original wedge I showed you over at the bench, by putting that little wedge in there, when you try to pull this plug off, it will get wedged between this little wedge here and the back of that. So that plug can't go anywhere. But when you go to change it again, if you want to, it's as easy as just reaching a little screwdriver or something under that and popping that wedge right out. All right, hope that helps you guys.